Hey guys, what's up? So, I'm gonna show you guys another cool mod today, and this mod is called the Stuffed Animals Mod for Minecraft 1.2.5. So now you can enjoy your own fluffy friend. This mod adds in stuffed animal versions of every mob in the game. Now, as you see right here, I've placed down every single stuffed animal that is within this mod. When you right-click the stuffed animal, it'll have a custom sound effect that will play that suits the actual mob. So let's go ahead and listen to these mobs. You place them down by right clicking and it has a nice popping sound. Wait a minute, I forgot to show you guys one of the other mobs. This is the Ender Dragon and it's actually a stuffed animal now. But when you right click it there will be no custom noises since I believe the Ender Dragon doesn't make any custom noises, I'm not too sure. But um, anyways, you go ahead and place this guy down and yeah you have yourself a stuffed animal ender dragon. Now there is no need to craft every single one of these stuffed animals, all you have to do is craft yourself a one time present. In order to craft one of those, all you need is three bone meal, four red roses, and two diamonds. It's totally worth it because you have yourself an infinite supply of these stuffed animals, and every time you right click you will get yourself a brand new set of stuffed animals. So you can have yourself an infinite supply of these stuffed animals. So it's a pretty good deal, you craft it once and you have infinite stuffed animals. Alright, so don't tell anyone guys, because I figured out a secret. If you craft yourself a jack-o'-lantern, you place it down, and then you get yourself one of these presents, and get yourself a stuffed pig, and place it down, and right-click... It's your buddy Porch out here! It's your buddy Porch out here! No way! Yes! I... Can you believe that? Pork chops in this mod. That is really cool. And yeah, if you guys are still interested in this mod and you want to know how to install this mod, and especially if you guys want this world download, I recommend to get it. It's a really cool world download. I, I was just messing around with it, flying around. It's amazing. Link's in description, so go ahead and get it if you like. Alright, so if you guys are still interested in this mod and you want to know how to install this for a client, a server, and a bucket, let's go ahead and do this. Let's make a full tutorial. Oh yeah, also, thank you guys so much for rating this video, I really appreciate uh, yesterday's video, I really appreciate you guys' likes and favorites and all that good stuff, thank you guys so much, you guys are awesome. Alright, so let's go ahead and install this mod, this mod is really easy to install so we shouldn't have any errors, but the first thing I'm going to want to do of course before installing this mod is to go here to options and force ultimate game. The reason why I'm going to force ultimate game is because I have mods currently installed. If you guys have mods currently installed, I always recommend to back them up because you're never too sure if this mod is compatible with any of your mods. If it's not compatible, you will get black screen and you won't be happy. So options, force update, and login to download a brand new Minecraft thought jar in which we're going to mod. I'm going to go ahead and leave this updating so I'm going to minus this. And you're going to get the downloads from my description. It's going to take you on our website. And you're going to get Mod Loader Minecraft Forge Client. And you're going to get the client files from my description. There is a automatic way of installing this. But it's a bit more trickier. And I don't want to get into that. Because uh, a lot of people might have some issues. So we're going to do it the manual way. So Mod Loader Minecraft Forge Client and the client files. And if you guys are planning on hosting this for a server. Go ahead and tell your friends to install this for a client. Which we're going to do right now. And then tell them to uh, connect to your server. Which we're gonna, I'm going to show you how which I'm going to show you how to set up for a server. So this is just a normal server with a Minecraft server.jar. This is what you're going to get. 
you're going to get a Minecraft Forge server, and then you're going to get the server files. So go ahead and get this if you want to host a normal server, but if you want to host a bucket server, go ahead and get the downloads for the bucket server if you like. So here's the bucket files, and here is the craft bucket. This is a special craft bucket uh, that has Forge uh, already pre-installed, so uh, go ahead and get this. Uh, this won't work on any ordinary server. Alright, so once you have the downloads that you need, go ahead and drag it here to the desktop in which you can see it better. And let's go ahead and install this mod. We're going to go here to start, search your program file. We're going to type in percent app data percent. And for Windows XP users, you should see here run. And you run percent data percent. And it should take you up here to the roaming folder. Click on the roaming folder and you should see dot minecraft from the very top. When you go into your .minecraft folder, you're going to see bin, resources, save, and everything else. Go ahead and go into your bin folder. Before you open up your minecraft.jar that's located in your bin folder, you have to make sure you have your Minecraft game closed. Here's my Minecraft game that I just forced updated. You have to exit off your Minecraft game before installing any mod, so exit off your Minecraft game. Now you're going to right click your minecraft.jar that's located in your bin folder, open with WinRAR or any 7-zip opener. If you don't have WinRAR, links in the description. So go ahead and open that up with WinRAR and move it aside. The first thing you have to do, of course, before installing any mods is to delete MetaInf. You have to delete MetaInf. So right click MetaInf and delete files. Say yes and delete MetaInf. Now MetaInf is gone. Now we can continue. Now what you need to do is open a mod loader. So go ahead and double click mod loader and move it aside. You're going to highlight all the files from mod loader and simply drag it into the Minecraft.jar side. And replace press OK and you are done with mod loader. Go ahead and exit off mod loader and move it aside. Now you need Minecraft Forge clients. So go ahead and open that up and move it aside. You're going to see a ton of files. Select on any file they like and press Control A to highlight all the files. So you're going to highlight all the files from Minecraft Forge client and simply drag into your minecraft.jar site and replace press ok and you are done with the minecraft.jar site and you are done with the minecraft forge client so go ahead and exit off both the programs and make sure you're still in your bin folder where you open up your minecraft.jar with winrar because we're going to go back once so go back to your dot minecraft folder with bin resources save everything else if you don't have a mods folder you have to create a new folder called mods just like me in my dot minecraft folder so right click new folder and call it mods MODS. This is for mod loader to load the mods that are within this folder. So bins, mods, resources, say anything else. Go into your mods folder that you just created or you already have. So go into there. You shouldn't have anything in here. If you have anything, go ahead and delete it or you can back it up if you like. And what we're going to do is open up this client files. Go ahead and open it up and move it aside. You, all you have to do is just simply drag this zip stuffed animals into your mods folder. And that's it. That's basically how to install the mod. And that's basically how to do it for a client. And let's go ahead and log into the game and make sure that it worked. You should be able to log in if you didn't delete meta inf. You will get a black screen. And um, if you you know if you have other mods uh, installed, they might not be compatible. So let me right click with this present. And here are the stuffed animals. So it did work. So now let's go ahead and install this for a regular server. I'm gonna exit off my Minecraft game. Your friends have to have this installed in their client section, like how we already have done. So yeah, they just have to have this installed in their client section. Alright, so what we're going to do is get a Minecraft server.jar, it cannot be an exe, a Minecraft Forge server, and a server files. So what we're going to do is create a new folder in order to put the server within it. So I'm going to call this server uh, stuff. Okay, so stuffed animal server. What I'm going to do is grab this Minecraft server.jar and place it inside that stuffed uh, server stuffed folder that I just created. So go into that folder and you should see that your server is in there. What you're going to do is right click that Minecraft server.jar, open with WinRAR or any 7 zip opener if you don't have WinRAR links in the description. So go ahead and open up uh, the Minecraft server.jar and what you're going to do is open up the Minecraft Forge server. Go ahead and open that up as well. Move it aside, you're going to see a ton of files. All you have to do is press Control A to highlight all the files from Minecraft Forge server and simply drag it all into the Minecraft server.jar. It's really easy. Add and replace, press OK, and you are done. Go ahead and exit off everything and just run the server. That's basically it. All you have to do is just install this Minecraft Forge server into our Minecraft server.jar. Go ahead and run it, and you should uh, be able to generate all of these folders, such as this mods folder. And this is where we're going to place our mod. So wait till all this spawns the region, and once it's done, go ahead and spell stop, S-T-O-P, and just give a little bit of moments until it says done. Now it says done. Go ahead, go ahead and spell S-T-O-P, and now it's going to say saving chunks, and just wait till this closes off by itself. And then what you're going to do is go back to your stuff server uh, folder and you should see a mods folder. So, so go into that mods folder that generated. You shouldn't have anything in here. And what you're going to do is open up your server files. Go ahead and open it up and you should see right here a uh, stuffed animal zip. Go ahead and grab that and place it inside your mods folder. You should see a lot of baloney here. You don't really need to mess with this unless you're doing this, uh, unless your server won't really start. If it doesn't really start, 
go ahead and run them with these different uh, bats if you best understand me but it should be able to run uh, nevertheless let's go ahead and check this out let me go ahead and exit this off and run the server so let me go back one and here is the server let me go ahead and double click that and there we go it should be able to run if you got any errors uh, then try out one of the starter dot bats and it should be able to work so now let me go ahead and join my server and see if it totally worked and if not then that really sucks but it should be able to work go to multiplayer do a direct connect and do local host and there we go oops nope that isn't it there we go local host and connect and it should be able to connect me now let me go ahead and game mode myself and there we go now I should be in game mode and I should be able to pull out some of the stuffed animals and here they are so here are all the stuffed animals and I could go ahead and place in my inventory and right click and place them down so right now they won't be able to place down let me go ahead and go away from spawn and then I'm gonna try placing them out placing them down I mean right here so they shouldn't be able to spawn over there in the spawn region they should be able to be placed down anywhere else such as far away from the spawn region and there we go so now let's go ahead and install this for a bucket server it's exactly the same thing but it's a little bit more easier so I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect and I'm gonna go ahead and exit off my minecraft game and then I'm gonna go ahead and exit off everything because now we are starting a fresh new tutorial so here is the bucket download go ahead and get it from my description and drag it here to the desktop in which you can see it better and let's go ahead and do this I'm gonna create a new folder right click new folder and I'm gonna call it bucket uh, bucket stuff so stuff you know uh, stuffed animals uh, bucket server so what I'm gonna do is grab this craft bucket and place it inside the bucket stuff alright so now what I'm gonna do is go into that folder and once you have placed the craft bucket inside there what you have to do is just now rename it so right click that craft bucket and go here to rename and what you're gonna do is just remove all of this excess junk where it just says craft bucket so go ahead and highlight all that and do backspace you guys should already be familiar on how to set up a craft bucket, so you guys sh uh, should already know this. So what we're going to do is run that craft bucket by double clicking. So once you have double clicked that, it should be able to generate all the files. And now what you're going to need to do is uh, go into your uh, bucket files. So go into there, you're going to move it aside, and you're going to see here mods, okay? Go into your mods folder that the bucket uh, generated. So go into there. Now what you're going to need to do is grab this stuffed animals and place it inside your mods folder in your craft bucket. So there we go. So now this is located in our mods folder and now what we need to do is go back one. So go back. All right. And now we have to use one of these starters. Okay. So let's go ahead and use the 64 bit one because I am on a 64 bit user. So go ahead and drag that into your uh, bucket folder and that's it. Go ahead and exit off everything and run your craft bucket starter. Go ahead and double click that and it should be able to recognize everything. And there we go. Now everything seems to be working. And it just gave me a warning saying perhaps that a server is already running. That's because I was running my Minecraft server. Let me go ahead and exit this off and close Java. So if you get that error, just go to your task manager and you're just going to end this process. The Java WEXE. So just end that, say end, and there we go. And that's all you basically have to do. And now run it and it should be able to come out. And what, what's up with this? Okay, let me try it one more time. So let me try it now. There we go. So now it works. All you have to do is just end that process, double click the thing, and it would probably give you another error. And you just keep on double clicking until it works. And now it did work. And now let, let me go ahead and connect to this bucket. I'm sorry that this video was a little bit choppy, may I say. May, uh, it could be a little bit stressful. But um, if you just rewatch the tutorial and just slowly pause the video uh, frequently, then you'll best understand how to do this. It's actually really easy. Um, it's super simple but let me go ahead and game mode myself and you guys should already be familiar on how to game mode people uh, you just spell game mode and the username and what number and here we go so here is a stuffed doggy and let me place that down and there he is now he's a stuffed doggy and I can punch him okay so that's basically it guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial it was my full tutorial thank you guys so much for your ratings oh yes thank you so much I will continue making a lot of videos as long as the ratings are really good I'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you. Hey man, it's your buddy Porkchop. You like the music in the video? Go ahead and subscribe to Josh Woodward right there, the green box. If you like the review of the tutorial, go ahead and subscribe to my buddy SCM owns. They're both nice people. They like me, they call me Porkchop, and they think I'm really cool. Just look at my eyes, look what I can do with them. Pretty awesome, right? Anyways, go ahead and subscribe to one of those two. It doesn't matter which one, mom, maybe both, you know, maybe you're that cool, come on, man.